Here's why Tesla's Cybertruck is the deadliest vehicle ever made. After what feels like eons of anticipation, Tesla finally rolled out the first Cybertruck keys to eager owners in late of 2023. But let's be real, this ride has been a roller coaster of delays, price hikes, and that infamous steel ball incident that became internet folklore faster than you could say Elon Musk. Now, if you've been anywhere near the internet since its dramatic unveiling in 2019, you've probably seen more Cybertruck memes than you can count. It's been likened to everything from a futuristic Blade Runner reject to a walking fridge on wheels. And while the hype train has been chugging along, there's a nagging question lingering in the air. Is this thing really the future or is it just a pricey punchline waiting to happen? As the Cybertruck gears up for its grand debut, as a reminder, the base model's not included until 2025. Folks, it's worth hitting the pause button and taking a closer look at what it represents. Sure, it promises to tackle some of the big issues plaguing American transportation, but does it actually deliver? Or are we just handing over our hard-earned cash for a vehicle that enables every reckless driver's wildest fantasies? Engadget's Nathan Ingraham puts it bluntly, quote, Musk has basically built a vehicle that, for a steep price, enables the worst impulses of US drivers and gives them the freedom to do whatever they want. So, with that said, let's unpack why exactly the Cybertruck might just be the deadliest ride on the block. And let's start with safety. When it comes to safety, the Cybertruck might have a fancy automatic pedestrian detection system like other Teslas, but let's be real. That might not be enough to save someone if things go south. Picture this, you're strolling down the street, minding your own business, when suddenly this hulking behemoth of a truck comes barreling your way. First off, let's talk size. This thing is massive. I mean, we're talking about a hood that practically towers over Elon Musk himself. And if that's not intimidating enough, they've thrown in an adaptive air suspension system that can lift this bad boy a whopping 17.4 inches off the ground. It's like having a skyscraper on wheels cruising down the road. Now, let's talk about design. The front end of the Cybertruck. It's about as blunt and flat as they come. Instead of giving a walker or cyclist the chance to roll over the hood in case of an accident, it's more likely to send them straight under the wheels. And get this, there's no engine under that hood. So having it act like a steel battering ram is just plain overkill. But wait, there's more. The whole car is basically wrapped in a steel exoskeleton that can take a hit from a sledgehammer like it's no big deal. Sounds tough. Right? Well, European automotive authorities aren't so sure it's street legal with those razor sharp edges. And don't even get us started on the windshield. Tesla certainly calls it shatter resistant armor glass, but let's not forget that it's thick enough to make the inside of the car quieter than outer space. Great for drowning out any screams, right? Oh, and did I mention there's a massive 18.5 inch touchscreen glued to the dashboard? Yeah, because every driver needs a personal theater on wheels to distract them even more. All right, let's dive deeper into the guts of this beast. And trust me, it's not looking any prettier. First up, we've got the acceleration. Tesla claims this thing can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in a mind boggling 2.6 seconds. To put that into perspective, that's faster than most NASCAR and Formula One vehicles. And here's the kicker. It does it all without making a peep. No engine roar, nothing. So basically it's like having a silent assassin on four wheels cruising down the street. Now, let's talk headlights. Instead of the usual setup, the Cybertruck boasts one single bar of light. You know, sounds sleek, right? Well, experts are already worried that this minimalist design could blind oncoming drivers, turning the road into a real-life game of chicken. And then there's the battery situation. Sure, you know, Tesla fans were hoping for a range that could rival a road trip marathon, but alas, the Cybertruck falls short with a mere 340 miles, on a full charge. Remember when Elon Musk promised 500 miles back in 2019? Yeah, good times. But hey, if you're willing to sacrifice some trunk space, you can slap on an extra range extender battery and get a little bit more mileage. But they don't mention the cost though, which is always a red flag. And here's the kicker. All that lithium ion and stainless steel means this bad boy weighs a whopping 6,843 pounds that's heavier than a small elephant. Now, here's where it gets grim. 
Heavier vehicles, yeah, they're deadlier in collisions. So while you might be cruising in style in your Cybertruck, other folks on the road might end up paying the price for all that extra weight. Talk about a heavy burden to bear. And if all these have not yet scared you, hold on to your seats because we're about to tackle the most disturbing aspect of the Cybertruck. And let us tell you, it is a real eye-opener. Let's talk about the downright wasteful use of battery materials. I mean, come on. We're living in a world where every ounce of lithium ion counts. And here we have the Cybertruck guzzling it up like it's going out of style. And don't even get us started on how owning one of these bad boys can warp your perception of being some kind of eco-warrior. Newsflash, driving a massive electric tank doesn't exactly scream saving the planet. And oh, let's not forget about the so-called bioweapons defense mode. Seriously, a fancy HEPA filter in the cabin that's more likely to protect you from tire particles than any real threat? It's like something straight out of a comic book, except in this case, the supervillains are more likely to be lurking in the exhaust fumes of other oversized EVs. But perhaps what's truly chilling about the Cybertruck is what it says about the future, according to billionaires like Musk. It's like they're painting a picture of a violent dystopia. And sadly, many Americans seem all too eager to buy into that vision. It's enough to make you rethink what kind of future we're really driving towards. And pun intended. So here's the deal. Even if you're losing sleep over the potential dangers of the Cybertruck roaming the streets, federal officials are pretty much powerless to stop its sale or use. Welcome to America's laissez-faire approach to car safety, where regulatory red tape can tie officials' hands together tighter than a Gordian knot. Now, before you start envisioning a post-apocalyptic future ruled by Cybertrucks, let's pump the brakes a bit. While we don't have official safety ratings or crash test results from the feds or the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety or IIHS yet, we can still glean some insights from the info we do have. Raul Arbelez, the guy who watches cars crash into stuff for a living at the IIHS Research Center, hasn't had the pleasure of testing a Cybertruck yet, but based on what he's seen in videos, he's not hitting the panic button just yet. Sure, there's been a lot of buzz about the alleged lack of a crumple zone, but Arbelez isn't buying into the hysteria. According to him, nothing in those videos looked too out of the ordinary. And let's be real, he's not forming any solid conclusions without digging into the nitty gritty data from crash test dummies and analyzing how the vehicle structure held up around the occupants. But Arbelez isn't just twiddling his thumbs when it comes to the Cybertruck's design. He's got some serious concerns, especially about those menacing sharp edges. Picture this, you're in a collision and instead of a gentle bump, you're thrust against these razor-sharp edges. Ouch doesn't even begin to cover it. According to Arbelez, any body part hitting those hard edges is a recipe for disaster. It's like putting a spotlight on the weakest points of your body and saying, hey, come on, get sliced up here. <sighs> but you know, it gets worse. The Cybertruck's stainless steel exterior might sound cool and all, but imagine what that could do to the human body. Hint, it's not pretty. Arbelez paints a grim picture of your head meeting one of these bulletproof panels. Spoiler alert, it's not gonna give an inch. It's like choosing between falling onto a concrete sidewalk or a stack of pillows. Trust me, you pick the pillows every single time. So yeah, when it comes to a Cybertruck, it's not just about how fast it can go or how sleek it looks. It's about the very real risks it poses to anyone unlucky to cross its path. Now let's talk price. First, the rear wheel drive version. Remember when they tossed us with that sweet $39,000 price tag back in 2019? Well, uh, scratch that. What's the starting price now? A cool $60,990. Yeah, I do a double take too. And don't hold your breath for this one. It won't hit the streets until 2025. Talk about a long wait, but fear not, the dual motor and tri-motor versions are coming in hot, like 2024 hot. Tesla's calling them the Cyber Beast versions, and with good reason. The all-wheel drive Cybertruck will set you back $79,990, but hey, you'll get a respectable 340 miles on a full charge, zip from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds, and hit a top speed of 112 miles per hour. 
not too shabby, right? Now, if you're feeling extra fancy and have a spare $100,000 burning a hole in your pocket, you can splurge on the tri-motor trim. This bad boy turns out a mind-blowing 845 horsepower with a jaw-dropping 10,296 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, you heard that right. And you still get around 320 miles of range, because why not? So while the prices might have shot up faster than a SpaceX rocket, one thing is for sure. The Cybertruck isn't pulling any punches when it comes to power and performance. Is it worth the hefty price tag? Well, that's a debate for another day. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and watch the next video. Thank you.